Hi, welcome back to Spectrum Synth Tutorials. This is part one of a two-part series on using the animator pad. The animator pad is designed to control many parameters directly. In part one I'll show how to control some of those parameters and I'll also demonstrate the gesture recorder. In part two I'll talk about extending that control by sending pad messages down to Grand Central Station or up to the wavetable router. I'll also discuss how we can send control messages from any of the modulators to actually control the pad. There's a bank of preset patches for the animator. Let's have a listen to some of these patches. As the animator pad is designed to control several different parameters at the same time, these parameters here are controlled by the X movement and these parameters are controlled by the Y movement. All the controls have a positive or an inverted response to movements on the grid, except for these two, which are effect send amounts. With this nondescript sound coming out of the wavetable section, changing the cutoff point of the low pass filter makes it a bit more interesting.
So we can control the filter cutoff point from the pad by going to here and finding the wavetable filter cutoff point knob. Let's give it a positive value and then movements on the y-axis will control the filter. Now sometimes you hear a little bit of a notching effect so we can add some smoothing here. The wave slot selection is usually done over here by an envelope generator or by moving this knob. So that's an ideal parameter to have controlled by the pad. That's on the x-axis. Let's add some wave shaping distortion. Choose a distortion type, and you can leave the distortion amount at zero and control it here from the pad. Now let's add another sound component. I'm going to bring up the solo oscillator fader, and I'm going to turn up solo oscillator 1 in the small mixer here. To control the volume of solo oscillator 1, we have to have an envelope generator assigned to control that in Grand Central Station. So what we can do here is we can see that there are some envelopes already in use, 1, 2, and 3. So I think 4 is available, so what we'll do is we'll choose 4 as the source for modulation, and we'll choose the target solo oscillator 1 volume making sure this fader is over to the right to access the bottom row, and we'll give it some range. And we'll make sure that solo oscillator 1 is going out to filter 1, which is made by having this knob rotated to the left. Here's solo oscillator filter number 1, and for fun we'll set this to an inverse relationship, which means controlled on the y-axis, the cutoff point will get lower as I move up. <laughs> getting interesting. Here is the path recorder. Movements on the pad can be recorded by activating the record button. When it's flashing, it's waiting for you to actually play a note. That will trigger the start of the recording. So what you can do is you can position yourself on the pad and press a note and record the movement. When you take your finger off the key, it goes out of record and instantly into play mode. You can activate a loop so that when it finishes playing through the pattern, it will continue again. What's nice about this whole process is that it's polyphonic, so that each note has its own independent path. It's also velocity sensitive, so that notes of different velocities can have paths of different intensity. If you're using a unison sound, then you might not want the path to re-trigger from keys. So what you do is you flip this to mono, and what I'll do is I'll set up the wavetable sound to be unison. Just test that out. Yep, there we go. Right, so now as long as you play legato, it doesn't re-trigger the path. I hope you enjoyed a little look at the animator pad. In part two, I'll talk about how to get messages to other parameters by way of the Grand Central Station router and the wavetable router. We'll also take a look at how to control the pad from modulators such as step sequencers and low frequency oscillators. 
Here's an example of that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.